A few years ago, I was uh, teaching music to a special education class, and there was a little boy sitting on the front row. I was playing the viola. Now, this child was nonverbal autistic. When I started playing my viola, he starts singing pitches back perfectly. So I started working with this child and found out that he could actually sing beautifully. So I started talking with his teacher about music and communication, and about a week later, she comes to me and says, guess what? I sang him a question, and he sang me an answer back. So after that, uh, I actually recorded him singing Disney's A Whole New World, and a friend of mine helped me assemble a music video. We uploaded the video to YouTube. It now has over 486,000 views. And I've read hundreds of comments from parents that said, this is like my child. This gives me hope. I think my most significant challenge is student engagement, keeping the students engaged in music. And uh, kids are so different and they have different interests. So I make sure that I vary my activities. We sing, we play rhythm instruments every music class. We learn about music theory, music history. Uh, but I'll tell you, in the last few years, the thing that is, has been most effective is I keep a music suggestion box in the hallway. And kids are allowed to, to send me suggestions on things they would like to learn about in music. And then I incorporate those ideas into my music lessons. So they are actually taking part in, uh, in what I teach. And they're able to learn what they want to learn as well as what I know that I need to teach them. In fact, the last lesson of the year is entirely what they want. And they vote on it as a school. And this year, uh, they voted on the history of video game music. And so that's what I taught them. Over the past 20 years, uh, my methods to teaching have changed considerably, depending on the demographics as they change, technology as it changes. Technology has played an extremely important role in my music classroom. Uh, all of my music lessons are on Promethean board. I create flip charts for my lessons with links, and that, that's extremely important because if I'm teaching a lesson on a music composer, for example, from the past, you know, we can put a link to Google Maps and go across the world and take a look at where that composer lived. Or if I'm doing a lesson on rhythm, I can put a link to uh, an online metronome, which, which will help me in my rhythm lesson. Uh, I also am on the lookout for unique instruments that you don't see every day. Uh, and for example, I have a drum table in the classroom, and under each square uh, is a different instrument, from snare drums to tambourines, cowbells, and the kids love to play the drum table. Outside of school, I write music for film and television, and it's always excited the children that I do this. And a few years ago, I brought a recording studio to school and now I have music recording class so I can teach the children about professional music. So I can teach the children how to record and edit music. I also have a music club where the children get to do all kinds of neat activities like uh, Skype with music classes in other countries. Uh, we go out and perform in the community. Uh, we raise money for charity. And we make music videos. Every year we make a new music video. I record the music in my studio. Uh, we record the children's vocals at school. We have recording sessions. The parents come up with costumes. And then we go out and the community is gracious enough to let us film uh, in different locations. And then we upload the videos to uh, YouTube and the children get to see their work be successful.